St. Louis in their first ever home match, a 3-1 victory over Charlotte. They actually conceded first Enzo Copetti and then equalized thanks to a Bill Tuiloma own goal. Then Leuven from the penalty spot made it 2-1 right before halftime. And my boy Joan Klaus with the clincher. So 3-1 final, two wins out of two, just the fourth expansion team in MLS history to win their opening two games. As you mentioned, the crowd was electric. You were there in the offseason. You could sense the excitement. We spoke to Taylor Tolman about it a couple of weeks ago, and we all got to witness it this weekend. This was, this was wonderful. This was wonderful not only for St. Louis and for Major League Soccer, but for soccer and, and I, I would say for sports. This was a wonderful moment, what it, but hopefully this is going to be part of many moments going forward for this city. As you mentioned, um, fourth ever MLS team to open up 2-0. and They've won both of their games after uh, their first week win in Austin. And uh, if you do that, if you win your first two games, around 80% of the teams continue on and make the playoffs. I'm not yet ready to say that St. Louis is a playoff team, but obviously this is an incredible start. Just for some historic purposes, the fire in 1998 went on and won the double. Uh, the Sounders uh, finished third in the West in 2009, LAFC third in the West in 2018, and Austin finished eighth in 2021 in the West. So this is as good as it could possibly get for a start. Relative to the actual moment in the game, just an incredible scene for this city. Now, this is not a new soccer city, Mossy. Even previous to my generation, but including my generation, we have always looked to St. Louis. It has a long uh, tradition when it comes to players and an association with the game, dating back decades and decades and decades, and especially when you go back to look at our national team having been populated in the past by players predominantly from the city of St. Louis, and St. Louis has continued on uh, producing incredible men's and women's players, uh, whether it's a, you know, a Becky Sobrin or a Taylor Twoman, and the list goes on and on and on. And it was, for a period, the mecca of soccer. And things changed a little bit. And to see it kind of, you know, reemerge and reestablish itself in this way, it warmed the cockles of my uh, redheaded American heart, my friend. It was a wonderful scene, like we said. They brought it. And it should be said that, again, this is an urban environment. This is a city in downtown St. Louis. And St. Louis, like a number of cities uh, out there, have had problems over the years and continue to have problems. And part of the ambition and part of the desire is to create a safe and accommodating and fun and entertaining environment for people to come downtown to these cities. That's what they were ultimately made for, to people to experience these cities. And for a lot of these cities, they have gone through uh, incredible problems, and that has not been something that people have wanted to do. But they came out by the thousands to celebrate not just this, this team and this sport, but in a way it looked like, and again from afar, it looked like that the people of St. Louis were celebrating what this city is, above and beyond being a soccer city, and using soccer, and we always talk about looking through the lens, and they are using soccer to not just look through the lens, but I think to magnify and to project out what St. Louis wants to be and what it can be. And on this night, it was incredible around the field. But we talked last uh, episode, Mossy. I, I get angst. I, I was nervous for moments like this because you only get one chance to make a first impression. And if this is <laughs> the first impression, then there are good things to come. And there will be ups and downs. But everybody left that stadium thinking, this is something special. This is something that I can hold on to. This is something that I can be proud of, not just as a team, but as a city. And that. Mwah! That is that is what you want, and so they encapsulated all of that, and you know the soccer gods smiled upon them on the field. If you look at it purely from a soccer perspective, they were gifted multiple times in the game the goals that they scored. But you know what? You have to have a little bit of uh, luck. It's not always going to be there. They beat a Charlotte team that is not a great Charlotte team. However, they found the way to get the uh, get the result. Send the uh, home crowd home happy, and again. Use that opportunity and use that platform that is the opening game in history to announce their presence to the world, to the country, and to St. Louis. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. 
Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.